this is uh, an amazing show. I've talked to Margo, I got to talk to Tracy, Sarah. How did this come about, this whole idea of creating this show? Well, um, I wanted to write a show set in the world of politics and center on women, and Stacy approached me about this idea of centering a series around Phyllis Schlafly. I thought, what a great idea. It's such a different way into this time period. I, I saw this amazing documentary and, um, you know, Phyllis basically lived as a feminist, but obviously didn't, fought very hard to oppose the ERA and it felt like the perfect um, subversive and also entertaining way to tell the story. Hey, what about it for you made you want to sign on to something like this? Well, it, it's also, it's a, it's a quality of the writing. As soon as Stacey and, and Darby pitched it to me, I just thought, this is so fascinating. I have no, I, I think I know a lot about the period and as soon as you start to uncover it you, you know don't know as much as you think you do and I certainly didn't know anything about Phyllis Schlafly so it was all a, a revelation to me and just about how she really um, <laughs> delivered Reagan into, into the right house and how influenced uh, in, in, um, influential she was as a grassroots organizer. Yeah, you know, I mean, I really didn't know about the ERA and about the history behind it until I started looking into the show for research in this. And it's really it's incredible to me that we still haven't made those drastic steps yet, right? I mean, it still resonates with us today. But the thing, the thing that I found very curious is what is it that's so frightening and drastic about equality? That's, I think that the series really does ask that. There's a lot of people who, who find change and um, you know, society evolving a, a terrifying thing. And I think Phyllis was very much into the status quo, into, into order, and the feminists were very much about challenging that. So it's a very, very dynamic kind of basis for, a, for drama. Yeah, absolutely. This plays like a movie kind of, right? This limited series. And the cast, I mean. I know. I mean, incredible, right? Murderers row of actors. And what's really exciting about this cast is when would you ever see Tracy Ullman and Kate Blanchett on the same stage in a scene together? So we get to see actors who have done such different types of work together in one series. That was one of the things I was the most excited about. And also about. the men who are in the series too. Like a lot of a lot of myself, obviously, um, Phyllis was married to Fred. You know, working with John Slattery and James Marsden, it was it was fantastic, and their work is extraordinary. Because of course, when you talk about equality, yes, it's about it's a it's seen as being a women's issue, but it's also a men's issue. Uh, absolutely. And they talked about how wonderful it was in Toronto, all of the women together in the same area, just like getting together and getting to know each other. I'm sure Don't look at me like that, I'm going to cry. Know. I was always on set. She was on set. She never had a break. <laughs> never got to break. I have friends too. No, no it, um, it was, Phyllis it was a lone wolf. You know, you really did get the sense that, you know, she she operated out of her house with a bunch of women. And it, fortunately, that was Sarah Paulson and Melanie Lynn. Scheme, but and you know, which is great, but the feminists were collective, and so you know, they they party, they hard. party, <laughs> they got to have more fun. <laughs> they absolutely do. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.